Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody asked me, this doesn't trace very well. They want to know how they could recreate it. It's pretty easy. Just go to your polygon to tool, get your common shapes or basic shapes, depending on which one you have. You don't have to hold down the control button. You make a little bit of a fatter one and hit P, put it in the center of the page. I'm using somebody else's file, so I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to show you, I want to draw everything in a hairline. And also, I want to draw it in RGB. So we're going to go hairline, go to RGB, and I want to draw in red. And now everything you draw will be in red hairline. So go back to basic shapes, get your heart. So now you have a red hairline. We're going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. Then we're going to take a two-point line holding down the control button and put P. Now, there's several ways to make this arch, and I do like this one. Uh, the best thing to do probably is to take your three-point curve line and go to your fattest part of your drawing and kind of go down. And you'll see why I say the fattest point here in just a minute. Now we can control D and make a duplicate of that. And let's move it down 0.2, see what it does. That's good. Control D, move it. Then we can move this one up. Control D and move it up. I don't like it as much as theirs. You could play around with this till the, like I always say, till the cows come home. One thing we can do, we could actually take these lines and group them together and just minutely kind of bend our curve. And we could actually add another line down there. Uh, you could play around with that. Now you need to keep in mind that you need to get these lines over there, over the other side. That's why I started on the thick as in, and then we can ungroup this, go to object group and ungroup or control U and make one more of those lines. I like it. Now we do not have to get rid of these lines, but when you do something like this, you see some lines that you might've missed. And I see one already that when we moved it, we're not all the way to the line and that one's right there. So, that's why you could not cut this because we're going to smart fill it tool too. But just take that line and just go past it. And then that way, when you cut it off, it'll work good. Now, the reason I put a, a line in the middle, because now we're going to take the smart fill tool, get on red, and we're I want that one red and try every other one. Got a little leak right there, and it's one of these is, not all, there it is right there. Take your shape tool. And just put it over there. Now I do not like it. I should have put in one more line to make the top red. Uh, you know, you need, either, you need an odd amount, but for the video, that's good enough. Now let's take away this line and we're gonna take those red ones and control Let's group them together, control G and then control D while holding down the control button, move those over. Now we have that. And this might work because it might look pretty good. Now we need to, what I'm gonna do now and don't really have to do this, I'm gonna take all the lines and take away the fill. And because I'm gonna add another line and I'm gonna get my two point line. I'm gonna go from about that Maybe hold down the control button to get it perfect. And we don't have to do anything here. We could take the virtual segment delete key. And now we can fill this in with blue. We're going to use blue. So I'm going to make the nudge factor different. I'm going to make the nudge factor three inches. And we're going to fill this in. We'll fill it in with blue this time, just so you can kind of see we're not going to do it right now. But that way you know that everything works. Well, three inches was way too much. I must have hit 32 inches. So let's do that one more time. Let's go two inches this time with a nudge factor. You don't have to fill this in, but I like having something there. Now we can take the smart fill tool and 
go back to a red. Of course, you wanted to use a little bit deeper red than I've got. And it's kind of a shame that you can't get, you know, uh, all of them like the picture. But if you fill these in, you get the idea. Now we need to create the stars. So we'll take this shape and left click, right click. On the stars, I'm going to go, they did a really good job. I looked at this drawing pretty good. They actually got it like kind of a perspective. I'm not going to go there with this video. I might make a second. But stars, go under your polygon tool. Get your common shape or basic shapes, depending on which one you have. No, nope, don't need that. Just go to the star tool. Make a little bitty star. And this is why I like drawing in hairline, because if you drew that hairline star a little bit with a thicker tool, it'd be too thick. Now let's take that star and go control D and make a duplicate and put it like right there. And now let's grab both these, go up to effects and blend. We're going to blend, let's say four times. Let's try five because this has a lot of stars. That looks pretty good. Now we could blend them all the way across, but it'd be kind of difficult because you're going to need to have some taller. So grab all these and control G, control D and move them over and then just let's nudge them over 0.2. Just remember that you have a, that's too much, 0.1. Remember the two inch nudge factor, 0.1. Okay, control D and make a duplicate, move it over. And we can always move them up later. And whenever you duplicate and you don't see it move, you need to kind of go again because double duplicates on top of each other can actually cause problems. That looks pretty good. We will just take each individual line and nudge them up. I must have another duplicate there. Yep. So let's go back and go 0 0.05, nudge this down. There we go. Nudge that up. We'll nudge all the, all the center ones up and you could make them rounder. Let's, let's nudge these two center ones up further. And it's all depends on what you think looks good. I'm going to call that good, so I'm going to ungroup and get rid of that star. Whoop, it must have been in a group. That is weird. Oh, it's in a blend. Don't forget that. Break blend apart, then go to object and ungroup it then you can get rid of that star. Don't ever forget when you use the blend tool. Uh, this one, it could actually go down a hair. That's too much. If you hold down the control button, once you start moving it, and we get the blend. The blend's causing us trouble. So let's just go to object and break the blend apart. It's still a group, so now you can start moving and hold down the control button. I'm gonna call that good. Let's take the smart fill tool and put it on a blue, a dark blue, like a flag blue, and then nudge that over. Remember my two inch, I said two inches, put this back to two, and then when you nudge that, it'll go right back in space, in place. Now, I do not like this at not having a color, uh, but that could be easily fixed. You could actually uh, put a red line around it and make the red line thicker by double clicking your pen tool, we'll go something other than a, something like that. That looks pretty good. Maybe I don't like it on this side, but, and they really did a good job. They took some time and I really like, this is almost like a lens effect. But anyway, that'll get them started. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.